Hey folks, doing another ramen video today. This is by suggestion from a, a subscriber that left a comment, uh, Richard Richard 4096, I believe. They said that they are addicted to this. <laughs> yeah, the Samyang Bu Bulldog, I believe that's it. Uh, this is their uh, carbonara. Carbonara. It, this is like one of the, the top ramen companies in South Korea. And carbonara basically just means there's cheese. Uh, to me, carbonara is like either pork, bacon, pancetta. You get it. I am interested to try this, and this is their stir-fried, and this is supposed to be very spicy. I gave a, I, I gave a package of this to one of my co-workers, you know who you are, and uh, he made it one night, and he, he says, okay, I gotta warn you, this is hot, this is really spicy. So I was kind of apprehensive. I'm going to do it anyway. So let me show you how I'm going to prepare this over here in this little guy and uh, give it a taste. Let you think what, give you what I think and uh, we'll see. So on with the ramen. Okay, here's the ramen. I'm going to add this to my uh, little basket. Don't worry, it'll fit. Then now get it all submerged in the water. Bring it back up to a boil for a few minutes and stir it around, checking the doneness. And when it's done, just drain the noodles and then dump them into your bowl. This is such an easy way. Also, you want to re retain some of that liquid, so this is perfect for uh, for these types of noodles. So let's add our uh, dry ingredients. Okay, here's the sauce. This is the hot sauce. This is what my, my co-worker said. He suggested use half. I'm gonna go ahead and add the whole thing. And here's the, the carbonara. The, the cheese. I don't know. For some reason, South Korea, they freaking love cheese. Okay, so this is a powdered cheese. Looks like there's some seasonings in there. I see some green flakes. Okay, I'm just going to give this on its own a quick toss. And yeah, you can see it's really really loose because the directions say to withhold eight tablespoons of the the cooking liquid that you cook the uh the noodles eight tablespoons is essentially well not essentially it comes out to be a half cup so i'm gonna add some of that and probably won't need all of that. We'll see. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need that the full half cup. Because this looks like it's starting to come together really well. Yeah. I, I would say that's about a quarter of a cup. So that would probably be about four tablespoons. I can say from this point, it smells really good. I just hope, I hope it's not as spicy as my, uh, my, my co-worker said it was going to be. Okay, let's give this a taste. Taste, taste. There we go. We shall see. 
gotta admit, it smells pretty good. And uh, yeah, definitely a quarter cup or four tablespoons is sufficient for this. But look at that, that looks really, that's nice and creamy. But how hot is it? Here we go. Hmm. Another bite. Okay. It's spicy. It's not blow your head off spicy. It's, I gotta say, this is really good. I mean, really, really good. <laughs> yeah. I can see what you say, Richard, Richard. I have to say, I've never had ramen like that before. That carbonara, you know, it's a cheese sauce. Basically, a spicy mac and cheese. Boy, that's good. Well, anybody have any suggestions well, thanks for me to try. Please leave it in the comments because I love getting these because I've never seen these in any of the stores locally. I had to order this on Amazon, so this is definitely going in my Amazon store. And this little guy came through again. Love this for office cooking. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.